all right everybody how y'all doing and welcome back to my channel before i get into the unboxing of the msi b 450 m a pro motherboard max 2 the reason why i am switching to this motherboard here is because the asus prime a320 mk is straight garbage i have purchased that motherboard in 2020 to do my build as i was upgrading my systems to go ahead and start doing more editing content the prime a320 mk has issues bad very bad issues and this msi b450 motherboard a pro max 2 will solve that for me i hope now i am rocking the ryzen 5 3600 but i will not be installing that processor i have the ryzen 7 2700x 8 core 16 thread processor and to replace that yes i'm stepping up cores i'm going down one generation so i'm not going with the 300 series no more i'm stepping down to the 200 series 2000 series like i wanted to in the beginning i wanted to use the ryzen 5 2600 6 cores 12 thread processor but now i'm increasing to the Ryzen 7 2700X 8 cores 16 threads and that would be a beast for me and my editing journey now let's get into the unboxing as you said I have the MSI AMD B450M A Pro Max 2 this motherboard came off new A for $69.99. Now, if you're not a serious overclocker, this motherboard will fit your needs. All right, let's get into the unboxing. What's inside the box? Eventually, you get the motherboard. And underneath, you get your, um, your plate. An extra SATA cable. And... You get the one good thing I like about this is the M.2 screw lock holder. Instead of using the screw like they used to use them, they're adding the lock holder key to the cell. And that is even better. So I don't have to worry about messing with any screws installing my M.2. Alright. Let's get that out of the way. Now, let's get into this beautiful baby right here. And why I'm going with her. Just like I said that I said before I did the unboxing, I have issues with the um, Asus Prime A320MK. And I am so sick of that motherboard. So now I'm dumping into something that is still more of my speed and more better. Now let's get into it. We have four SATA 3s, 6 gigabit per second connectors. Here's your um your bridge. Now, for memory support, it supports up to 64 gigabyte non-ECC. Range speed runs from 2666 all the way up to 4133 megahertz and that is good for me two dim slots ddr4 door channel you have your cpu fan there as you see here as i'm showing you low vrms so there's no headroom for overclocking the processor the processor will do it automatically if I need to go ahead and go to that max boost of the CPU frequency automatically. Here you have your four pin CPU connect. It's not an eight pin, it's only four pin. So to a gamer who wants to build a system with this rig, this motherboard here, it only holds four pins and it's not made for overclocking. So if you think you can overclock it, you cannot. If you try to overclock it, you're gonna burn the motherboard out. So 
This motherboard is not made for overclocking. You got your low VRM stacks right there. This is for people who like to do simple basic work like me using two DIMM slots. It goes up to 64 gigabytes so I could add two 32s later on down the line or I could go ahead and stick with what I have which is I have two 16s with total to 32 gigabyte of RAM at 32 megahertz of speed. So yes, I'm using the same memory. If I want to increase my memory speed later on down the line, I will do that there by cranking it up to, say for instance, if I want to upgrade my memory to um, 64 gigabyte, 4,000 megahertz, then I go ahead and pop those old two 32 gigabytes out and I put the 64 in. Okay, here, this is my PCIe Gen 3 X16 lane, my PCI X1 lane, my front audio header. Now the USB headers is the front panel headers and there are 3.2 USB. I have my TPM right there. I have my system fan connect right there. And here's my front panel connect as well as my speaker buzzer button on the back here and I'm old school and I don't mind seeing the back panel like this uh, you have your old school PS2 keyboard and mouse hookup your DVI-D sub port your HDMI now if you're using the APU of the 1000, 2000, 3000 4000 and 5000 series that has the APU in it you will get the quality of up to 4k resolution with this it all depends on your CPU you have your four 3.2 USBs you have your two USB 2.0s and you have your gigabit land right there as well as you have your all your um audio line in and microphone jack hookup right there you got great capacitors that's a good thing about it now i'm happy to have this motherboard by msi just like i said in my previous clean videos and my rebuilt videos with the asus prime a 320 mk that motherboard is a pain in the butt a lot of people had issues with that ASUS motherboard, the 300 series motherboard. And a lot of people pulled it out of their systems. So if you are you willing to buy an ASUS motherboard, I'm telling you not to. Because you'll be wasting your time. I don't care if it is the ASUS Pro Art, the ASUS this, the ASUS that. Look for another brand in building your system like Gigabyte, ASRock. MSI to go ahead and do your builds with your systems. Now I'm happy to have this motherboard here. Just like I said here, your CPU support here is AM4 platform. Now keep in mind the AM4 platform is not dead because it just came up with the AM4 Ryzen 7 5700X3D. If you want to put that in there, you can do that. Just update your BIOS. I will be going ahead on be putting the video in the, in the description below so you can go ahead on and click on that link and watch everybody how to update your BIOS using a USB flash drive. The CPU support, like I said, is 1000 series, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000 series. Now, I'm happy to see that AMD came out with the new processors for the five for, for the um five thousand lineup new processors fifty seven hundred x three D you got your fifty eight hundred x three D and your fifty six hundred x three D you only get that from micro center and they built with the motherboard and RAM so if the AM floor platform is there no you see it right here I have the AMD MSI B450M A Pro Max 
too. And I'm happy to have them. Now, if y'all want to go ahead on and see the rebuilt video, please put that, post that in the comments below. If y'all want to see the rebuild, if not, I'm just going to go ahead on and swap out the system when I get the Ryzen 7 2700X on CPU. And I'm just going to go ahead on with the build with my RX 580 2040 GPU GDDR5, which came out in 2007 and still rocking in 2024 and beyond. You just got to know what games you're throwing at it because the game developers now are more intense and extreme it requires heavy hardware that becoming to be non-affordable now but if you are on a budget and you like this motherboard and you don't need that much RAM just to do basic clerical or easy basic gameplay if you like your Fortnite yes you can play Fortnite on this motherboard if you like your Valorant yes you can play Valorant on this motherboard with the R the RTX 2080 or 2070 or you can go ahead on with your RX 6700 XT with this motherboard here or your RX 580 it don't matter this motherboard will suit your needs I want to thank y'all for watching this video if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more great content and I'll see you in the next one peace